Well, hello there. Um, I recently went on vacation and I purchased um, this record player. I got it a great deal. I paid about ten dollars for it, and um, it's a symphonic brand. It's about sixty years old and um, had a couple of problems in it and one of them I'm about to rectify with my 3D printer and uh, the main issue with this thing was that well the mechanics were gummed up you got 60 year old grease in there I guess somebody tried to spray some WD-40 over here at the stem and uh, it got some of the grease loose but it still wasn't working right a lot of parts were seized in there and I'm in the process of uh, replacing some bushings which are completely dry rotted as you can see this is no longer real rubber it's complete garbage really but uh, yeah I measured out the orifices and I will be replacing that with 3D printing parts but I figure I'd give you guys a tour of this nice machine over here um, thrust bearing bunch of washers C clips here and my 3d printer is uh, printing the bushings as we speak it's gonna take a, uh, about 10 15 20 minutes whatever doesn't really matter and um, the table here the actual platter um, the rubber, I guess, had been dry rotted at some point, and uh, the previous owner decided to throw that part out. And you can't put a record directly on a, you know, steel platter like this. So I took the same insulation uh, cork liner that I used on my 3D printer, and I had some left, and I just cut out a piece and put it on this platter over here. However, I figured I would show you guys how these things work. The actual spindle doesn't spin. The platter spins on a bushing here. It has a gear where the thrust bearing is sits underneath like so. There's another washer. This is generally packed with grease. And the grease was so hard in this thing, I had to use acetone to clean it out. It, it was just terrible terrible but what can I say it worked for 50 60 years I figure it'll continue working now and uh, the speed selector is not working very well because those bushings are completely gone the motor sags so much well I took out the C clip here but um, the motor sags so much like all the gears they're in a different spot than they should be. This whole mechanism here, it was completely frozen shut. Didn't make any contact. The table didn't even spin. So I took it apart, a little bit of heat, a little bit of acetone, some uh, Valvoline Durablend synthetic grease, and it's smooth as silk again. And then I discovered that the bushings were completely, completely gone. So, I figured I'll 3D print some. I can always sand them down a little bit. But the way they're going to fit is they're going to fit right over those shafts. Pull the motor back up into proper alignment where it's supposed to be. And I'll install a C-clip in there. And uh, should be back to normal. Should be good to go. I, um, I'm 3D printing three of them. Because this motor here, the electric motor here, and uh, not very high torque, but um, it, it uses uh, three feet, um, or I should say three standoffs, to, uh, three attachment points. And I uh, just figured I'd show you guys. This is a very interesting older machine that I'm planning on turning it into a project. Uh, the needle on this thing is probably the original one, so is the cartridge. And strangely enough, the tube amplifier still works on this. I see some uh, solder splatters. So I guess somebody went in and fixed the amplifier. They just weren't able to fix the mechanics of it. So I figured, yeah, what the heck, I'll do the mechanical part. 
but uh, eventually I'm planning on uh, stripping this head out putting a modern head in here because that is basically a half inch um, cartridge in there a half inch spacing standard cartridge in there and this is a beautiful beautiful machine that is completely mechanical it self parks and turns off when you um, when you reach the end of the record self parks and turns off on its own has a little uh, arm over here that you can lock it down on but uh, I'm planning on getting rid of this cabinet altogether I'm gonna well you guys ju will just have to wait and see um, but uh, I figured this is a little bit of a preview of what's coming because I will be 3D printing a bunch of these parts and uh, these bushings if they work properly I will probably put them on uh, you imagine and I'll add it at the bottom of the link so if anybody wants to 3D print some bushings for an old symphonic record player with a BSR turntable on it um, they can uh, this way it allows uh, future generations to possibly restore these turntables because these are wonderful wonderful mechanical devices that um, will never be made again it's as simple as that unless somebody's crazy enough to make them again but um, they do suffer from certain problems from age which is uh, rubber and this wheel over here I am not sure this wheel pinches against the motor and the actual turntable I'm not sure if somebody replaced this already or the rubber just stood up that much better because this one's actually in very good shape it's in excellent shape and um, the potting material looks about the same as the original arm which was completely frozen which I believe is the original part in either case it's beautiful mechanism I mean just check this out the selector for the actual speeds you know that's a 78 45, 33, and a 16. I've never seen a 16 <laughs> record before, but uh, there you go. So, hopefully, on my next cutaway, I'll show you guys how I will reassemble this thing and um, maybe we'll listen to some of my old records. How's that? Alrighty. Okay, so my bushings are done. Took about 15 minutes or so. And I need three of them. That's the finish. 0.2 mil, 5 mil bore, 10 mil outer diameter, 14 mil in total. And uh, what I'm going to do is I already replaced one of them here. If you can actually see it. Let's see if we can zoom in. Nice and steady. and it fits right in focus focus there you go somewhat in either case it fits right in there there's one here and one here to be replaced so I'm replacing them one at a time so I don't have to take this whole thing apart and uh, I've already greased the shaft here I put my thrust washer in there my thrust bearing and pretty soon this thing should be nice and functional okay then talk to you in a few seconds well 50 year old technology meets modern technology I guess 21st century technology and uh, I think it's ready to function huh. what do you know very smooth as well let's uh, let the amplifier warm up it's an old tube amp in here that gets quite warm actually I'm a little bit of afra afraid of it but if you I don't know if the microphone picks it up but it's 
starts to hum. All right. Good. That's pretty cool. Let's see if the auto park mechanism works. That is very nice. So the record player is functional again thanks to a 3D printer. Well, at the end of the day, I yes, I could have made those spacers myself by hand, this and that, but it was just easier just to 3D print them. And they fit in there perfectly, they centered the motor perfectly, they got the proper height, I didn't have to guess and check anything. About the only thing I actually had to do was uh, widen the 5 mil bores, because the motor is metric. And uh, when I measured it out, it was like 4.85 millimeters or whatever, and the plastic tends to shrink a little bit when you print it out, and the inner... Uh, bores were slightly smaller, so I cleaned them up with this 5.05 mil uh, drill bit, and they fit in there perfectly. Everything is sitting there. Tables were functional. I'm very happy. Now I get to listen to some music that probably hasn't been listened to in 50 years. Well, actually more than that. These records are. The Great Band Era, 1936 to 1945. Woo! Really old music. Alright then. See you later. Bye.